Nancy Williams. Presenting to you our timekeeper at the bell, Phyllis Gary, keeping count of the knockdowns, Brian Gary. And now introducing to you our judges, scoring this bout from ringside, Paul Herman, Julio Roldan, and Medardo Villalobos. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing, a rematch for the WBA Middleweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, it's showtime! Presenting to you at this time, our referee in charge of the bout, Max Parker, Jr. Introducing to you first, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. Entering the ring, wearing solid white trunks, he hails from Lincoln Park, Maryland. He weighed in at a ready 159 pounds, with a record of 24 wins, one loss, and one draw. He has 19 wins coming by way of knockout. Rank the WBA number two contender. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former WBA middleweight champion of the world, introducing William Juffy Jr. And the defending champion on my left, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing green trunks with white trim, fighting out of Queens, New York, by way of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. He weighed in at the middleweight limit of 160 pounds even, with a record of 22 wins, two losses. He has 15 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, he is making the first defense of this title. Here is the WBA middleweight champion of the world, Julio Cesar Green. And once again, here's our referee in charge, Max Parker Jr., now to give instructions. Let's go. Okay, gentlemen, this is a title about the World Boxing Association. I want to allow a clean and sports match contest. There's no three dot dot rule. In case you score a knockdown, I'll direct you for a neutral corner and remain there until I tell you to come out. In the clinch, I'll let you fight the fight until I give you the command to break. Break it by protecting yourself and taking a step back. General, with your both luck, touch gloves, come a box on the bell. Well, Julio Cesar Green usually starts out in deliberate fashion, very disciplined and patient, waits for his opportunities. He floored Joppy with a countering left hook in round two of the first fight. Joppy generally starts out fast and comes straight in. And he told Bobby Chez before the fight that he would do just that. He's going to step in to Green. Joppy can box a draw, but chooses not to slug. Here we go, round one scheduled for 12 for the WBA Middleweight Championship. Green start out as advertised with a lot of energy. He says he's just going to come out, eat him up, eat Joppy up. I'll tell you what, Look beautiful counter left hook right there. Did you see what Green just tried to do as he went down? Yeah, 10 yards. That's 10 yards. Yeah. Well, he just Let's tried to down. Joppy. That was, let me tell you, that was more of a knockdown than a slip. Green came in and went to leap in. Joppy end. counter with a short inside cute left hook. But then Green with his legs tried to tangle up uh, Joppy, but Joppy remained standing. Looked like line play at the Super Bowl all over again. Well, it's dirty right from the outset. Look at this inside action by Green. Oh, good countering punches by Joppy. And watch out for that right hand by Joppy, despite the fact that he's got the chip cartilage on the right knuckle. That's, that's his uh, power punch. Right now, Joppy looks much more focused than he did in the first fight. Much, much more purposeful and a whole lot sharper. William Joppy, as uh, he predicted, jumping right on Julio Cesar Green. Down to the body, downstairs goes a Green. But Joppy able to fend him off. Green has a pretty good jab, but Joppy's is the better. It's the quicker and it's the more accurate of the two. And if he gets that working, there'll be a lot of trouble for Green. As mentioned, Green thought uh, at times that Joppy was throwing an illegal backhanded type uh, jab, and uh, he was right. Well, he fought an all left hand fight. He was getting. 
and jabbed out himself. This is a different jumping. This is a guy with two hands. And here is a confident Green. I mean, this guy is confident. Green says he's in the best shape of his career. He'll be much faster and better prepared this time. And keep in mind, he's the one who won the first fight. Well, I'll tell you what, you know there's some bad blood that's on the scene. Green with combination to the head of uh, Jumpy. Wicked combination by Julio Cesar Green. I'll tell you what, Jumpy teed off and got teed off on. Look out as they get tangled up with the feet once again. And Max Parker now cautioning Green. Another 10 yards penalty. That was tripping again. And back comes Jumpy. Get him up, get him up, get him up. upstairs, Wait, Green to the midsection. Joppy is landing something that looks like a little waiver on, on the part of Green when he gets hit. He's getting hit hard, is Green. Yeah, you know what Joppy is doing? Joppy's pulling in to the power shot. There you see another big left hook. Green is wobbling. Green on rubbery legs right now. Joppy trying to finish him off. He hurt him real big there, yeah, Steve. I got Joppy's Green. knees, I got uh, Green's knees both of them right the whole Joppy. Green just gave him a big break. He gave him a few seconds. Green in trouble here in the opening round. Joppy with a flurry. Green with great heart and a tremendous chin. Well, he's right up to survive. He beat the round. Does this look for that? Green with a wild right at the bell. Well, we said it was going to be thunder, and thunder it was. Joppy landing the harder punches and getting him in trouble. Right before that, that time that he got in trouble there, Bobby, he looked like he wavered when he got in, and then he got in trouble again. That bell, by the way, was late. Don't back up. No saque para atrás. Mantén el balance. Don't back up. Job is doing something very smart, guys. Don't back up. Fight no forward. Take your time and jab him. Oh. Jab. Jab right hand, left dig. He's right there for it. Jab right hand, left dig. Don't back up, baby. Don't back up. No saque para atrás. Stay on low. Stay on low. Tiene que mantenerse ya. Oh, ya, papá, ese ya. Stay on low, don't back up, stay on low. Manteniendo ese ya, no saque para atrás. Ni coja soga. Quedamos de trapo. Now, after two slips and one of them questioned, well, he finally got buckled, did green, because the inside stuff was so legit. Oh, did you see that? The, the, the straight left hand was so strong that it buckled him, and he almost went down, did green. You were saying, Bobby. Well, you know what is going on? In, in the first fight, Joppy was trying to pull out, and he was getting hit on the tail end of Summer Green's wild looping shot. What he's doing now is pulling inside, covering tight, and smothering Green's big roundhouse punches and landing his own. Both fighters throwing big punches in round one, but only Joppy connected with any uh, real authority. Green was staggered in the first round. And in Green's corner, they said to Green, don't pull out, you're getting caught on the tail end. Pull inside, which is smart advice, but Joppy's too sharp on the inside right now. The two-handed fighter, William Joppy. Joppy looks like a million dollars right now. He's fighting a tight fight, really controlled. His punches are hard, and they're hurting Green. Well, Green has something Joppy dearly wants, the championship belt. And Joppy is fighting like he really has desire. Well, he's got two hands this time. Last time when he lost it, he lost it with one hand. Green digging to the body. But back comes Joppy with a combination of the head. Joppy speed becoming a big factor here. His counters are very quick. Green select. Oh, straight right hand by Joppy, who's definitely head hunting. That was right on the chin. But Green has a terrific, terrific chin. Read it. And then he fights his way out of it. Comes back with an overhand right. Big right hand hurt Joppy a little bit. Yeah, and Joppy's holding on. Joppy got walked a little bit in the temple there. Smart move. You, you cannot, cannot give up on Green because Green comes back. He's got guts and he's got a right hand that's dynamite. Break, 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 back up, get the form out of here. Good deal, keep it clean, baby. All right. Now these two pick up where they left off last August at Madison Square Garden. We've got a war. Well, what we got is a continuous beating by Joppy and an occasional bomb by Green, which could finish the fight. So, boy, what we got here is action. We approach the final minute of the second round. Well, these rounds are flying by. Yeah. When, when they fight like this, it seems like it just got started. Joppy's jab right now is the key. It's the difference in this fight. He's stuffing it. It's a power jab. He's catching Green on the wind, and that right hand jab is acting like a right hand. Green is acting like a power shot. Yes, coming forward, but eating a lot of Joppy's leather. Good defense by Joppy. And I'll tell you what, a nice combination to a left hook and then a turn into an uppercut by Green. Very effective. Didn't land completely cleanly, but it was very nice. Yeah, this is no one.
one-way fight. Just when, if Joppy takes a minute off, he's going to eat the leather. That you can depend on. This guy is going to keep coming forward. Happy punch out, punch out. There's a beautiful right uppercut by Joppy underneath to the chin of Green. But Green keeps working underneath yeah. as well, and he keeps That's punishing the body. Countering left hooks combination by uh, Green, who continues to press the attack. to pepper the face of Green with a left jab. There it is, and there's that backhand. And there's that big right hand by Green. And he's being warned is Joppy by Max Parker for the backhand. Oh, yeah, he was, they talked to the referee. You can bet your bottom right on that. Pretty straight right hand there by Joppy that tagged the side of Green's face. Joppy's jab still making the difference right now in setting up the combination. Joppy right, keeping his distance with that jab, looking to follow up. Don't hit on the brakes, says Max Parker. He's done it about four or five times. Not only has he, not only has he hit him, but he's butted him. He has uh, rubbed a glove, placed him. Green will try any tactic. Well, they just don't like each other. Julio, watch your head, Julio. See, he's doing it again. Julio. See that? That's okay. Lacey. Holy oh. hitting by Green now. He oh, had this is no old bar. Straight right hand that got through by Joppy. Right to the glove. Joppy opening up. They're getting to really pour it on now. None of those hits. comes Green. None of those hits. Green smiled at him like saying, this is defense here. I'll tell you what, a couple of them actually did hit one on Green pretty good, and he smiled anyway. Yeah, he, he's having fun, Green is. I got you, back it up. Julio, watch your head, you watch your head. Trying to frustrate Joppy by smiling back at him after getting attacked. Look at that straight left by Joppy. Right on target. This guy looks like he's leaning toward taking points away. He keeps warning Green he's not going to do that all night long. I wouldn't be surprised if Green will resort to almost anything before this fight is over. Well, so far he has. He's almost exhausted, which you can do cl in close. Right now, Joppy is taking control of the, of the pace of this fight and the tempo. He's got Green where he wants him to for the most part. That's a second warning for a buck. Second warning for using the head. Max Parker has his hands full here on countering. Shot by Joppy. And then Green spun around. Nice round. Action, yes. Nice round for Joppy because he's trying to get it down, settle it into his pace. Boxing because he's a superior boxer. Well, that's sitting right by Green. And he's sitting inside those big wing shots too. Joppy's looking good, but taking some shots. But terrific countering by Green. It's quantity for Joppy and quantity for Green. Every once in a while, Green unloads a heavy shot, and he lands. And they're usually countering shots. Come on, Julio, let's go. Julio, stop waiting for them. You'll be forced. 
Tá vendo, Bonnet? Me force. Be force. Ok? Eu vou matar aqui, campeão. Eu vou te be force. Tá vendo, Bonnet? Julio. Stay down here. Stay down here. Two jobs. You're right down behind it. Two jobs. You're right down behind it. Don't wait for him. You okay, baby? I know you are. Wait a minute. Get him. Fill up your lungs. 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 Fill up your lungs, baby. Keep working that. Double it up. Double it up. Down it up. Down it up. Boy, Joppy's anxious to get back at it. Green uh, just now off his stool. They're telling Green in his corner, be first. Let's see if he does. It's hard to be first when the other guy's so fast, he can box so well and is moving as well as Joppy. He has to respond to a counter punching. He's trying to catch him moving around, but Joppy's back on his bicycle a little bit here. He's back to moving and, and bipping and bopping, which he can do very well. Joppy commanding the pace of the bout as he seeks to reclaim the title. Is he sneak, he's sneaky quick with the jab. He's stepping in. He's stuffing the jab. He's slipping under Green's jab. The right hand has to start to come back into play. That's how he hurt him early, and that's how he'll hurt him again later. Deceptively cute, William Joppy. I jumped you ahead 29-28, Bobby. I, I don't know what your score is, but it seems like he took the first and the third, and then the Green took the second. I thought Green just out hustled him for the last minute of the third, the second to take the second. I have 29-28 as well. That's where he wanted. No, 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 no. Okay, all right. Again, again, a warning. He's, he's doing an awful lot of talking to Green. At some point, he's going to have to back it up. See on the inside there, it's cute and it's subtle, but what has happened is Green's punch are hitting a lot of arm, a lot of shoulder back of the head of Joppy Joppy, sneaking his stuff up the middle and just banging straight. Oh, a straight right hand by Green. He's got that sneaky right hand. He didn't bring his, he didn't bring his defense inside tight. He stayed on the outside and he got caught the tail into that right hand. He can't go right, he can't go right hand crazy, which is obviously that's what, that's the only way he can stop him right now. Right hand by Green, very dangerous. Joppy can come back. Joppy's fight to stay out here and jab and, and move pretty, it works as, as long as he doesn't forget it and gets in close. Once he gets in close, he lets Green get into the fight. And look at the Joppy. He goes back to the boxing tactics now. Very patient. Doesn't want to get right, into right, a right, slugfest right, right, with this guy. Don't push him, Judy. Don't push him. Right, man. Come on. Come on. Although he can handle himself under those conditions, he elects not to. He wants to get in close. Green can hammer the body. Nice combination by Joppy. Stepped out to an under over down the middle. Right uppercut by Joppy to the chin. Now let's see if Green can get off first again here. He's trying. He's trying to force the action, but Joppy is not running from getting caught on the tail of the punches. He's stopping, stuffing, putting his hands up, blocking the shots, firing back. What a different fighter Joppy is with two hands. In the interview, Joppy made a big point of saying, hey, the name of this game is boxing. That means to be slick, not to get hit, and to box beautiful. That I can do, and that's what we're seeing. He's boxing. Get it back, get it back, close that glove up. Nice body shot there by Green. That's the ten, that's the ten. Green goes to the body. He's, he definitely wants to slow him that's down. Break, break, break. No, no, no. Now a little uh, taunting tactics by Joppy beginning to creep in at the bell. Let's go, Memo. Turn around. Turn around. Get that, get that. Turn around. Yeah, it's good, baby. Go ahead and sit down. Two or three jabs. Come on, that's my hand going. Very good. You're a professional, baby. You're look a professional. Look out. I need a number one finger. That hurts. Yeah. yeah. Hit that. That's it. Yeah, you all right there? Yeah, all right. Go get him. Go get him. Work and go get him. Good. Body face. Body face. Before you get off. Inside, move them hands around your head like you're doing. Make right. it miss. I'm going to get my pocket out of Come on, baby. Close that fist real tight. That finger won't hurt. Fuck it. Real tight. Okay? Two deep breaths. Two deep breaths. Take, take a look at this big right hand by Green. Now keep your eyes on his right hand. Boom. Here it comes. If that had been with full force and landed with full force, it landed a glancing sort of right hand. It was a little loopy, almost a, almost a big slap. Yeah, well, it didn't land down the pipe, wasn't thrown straight. Very few people have ever gotten knocked out by big looping punches like that. Boy, the blood uh, coming around the left eye from the left eye of Julio Cesar Green. And Joppy, uh, as you saw, a la George Foreman, uh, standing in the corner between rounds. Oh, what a right hand by Joppy. What a right. And Green took that one well. 
I don't think he was quicker. certainly got his attention, but I'll tell you what, Green's ready to go. Green felt that all the way to his heels. That was a punch that makes points pile. Explosive shot by William Joppe, but uh, Joppe has to start wondering what's holding Green up. Joppe's corner instructing him to hit and move, use his speed, keep moving. Go down and up with the jab. You see another warning about the backhand because Jobby does like to slap backwards. Parker. An illegal punch. Max Parker been talked to by the corner, said don't let him do this to us like he did last time. Here's Green again, fighting back with all his will. But not landing clean, a lot of those shots, hitting gloves, hitting elbows, hitting shoulders and arms. He's in the body. defense pretty tight tonight. He's in the body too. Okay. He doesn't understand him and that's the problem. He does not understand. Now the way these guys stack up, their height's the same, their weight's the same. They can both punch. Oh, Green boxes is better than Piper giving credit. By Joppy. But Joppy has got the slickness. He's got the sneaky stuff. They stack up great on paper. This is a war 10 times out of 10. And maybe Joppy loses once in a while like he did last time. But I think Joppy's just a, just a shade above what it needs to be. What a chin by Julio Cesar Green and Hart. Those uppercuts, when you you see the other guy's head up, up like that, like that, like that. By Joppy. See, Joppy's doing the sneaky, smart, smart, cute things, and Green's not paying attention, he's not adjusting. Joppy's better at adjusting to what he needs to do. Joppy using Green's face as a punching bag, and Green trying desperately just to hang in. Oh, oh another, another lacing. That's another warning uh, for the point. I don't know how many warnings you can get in this uh, city. Max Parker, very experienced and very good referee for championship fights, having his hands full with Green, trying to keep him down. He doesn't want to take a punch in the champ uh, point. Nice body work by Joppy. Green is getting frustrated on the inside. Joppy said he's going to take it to him on the inside, step to him, and he's minimizing Green's big roundhouse. Joppy uh, winks over at his corner as if to say, I'm all right. The chance for Julio Cesar Green. The crowd, they're trying to urge Julio on, and he responds. Now he's doing a little showboating as if to say he's all right to his corner. Oh, a backhand shot there illegally done by Green. Boy, he's got determination in his face, has Green. A little bit of hollering, and he just got his eagle right up there. But Joppy continues to pepper away with the jab. Julio, Julio, come on, stop playing now, give me, get busy, get busy, stay down here and work, take the fight to him, stay with the job, job, right hook, left dick, right hook, what you got to step Here's that big right hand by Joppy. Keep your eyes on that right hand. Here he comes. Wong right there. I mean, you can't hardly hit a guy better than that. And still, Green stands up, although he, he did a dance afterwards. Now watch the uppercuts. It'll work on the uppercuts. Bobby. This is the sneaky inside stuff, the sportsmanship that you see. Joppy's learned the trade. He's got the slick stuff down. Just keeps ripping it up. Leans on. Green lets him use his weight against him. Green's just pushing his head in there, and Joppy keeps snapping it up. Once you, once you see a, a fighter's head snap up, that, that uppercut is connected. I haven't seen that many good uppercuts since Carmen Basilio was fighting. Basilio would be, was a master of the uppercut, but this guy has really learned his lesson. He knows how to use uppercuts. Here we go in round six. Joffy is clearly the slicker of the two. He's got a few more bags of tricks in his repertoire. And right now, Green needs to outmuscle him and outwork him, or he's not going to win this fight. Joppy 24, 1 and 1 with 19 knockouts. He's only lost to Julio Cesar Green, who's in front of him tonight. And Green 22 and 2 with 15 knockouts. It's going to be interesting to see what the judges score. This goes to the scorecards. If it does, I'd be amazed if it does. I got a feeling it reaches di the distance, guys. We got two tough individuals here. Joppy doesn't seem to be in the mood to make any mistakes. Throw caution to the wind, but he's fighting a smart fight. Pushing him back with that effective jab. And then a straight right by Joppy. Again, peppering with the jab. And Green there almost putting his chin out there, baiting Joppy to come in and fight, real risk risking and willing to get hit. Just to get him in a slugfest, and Joppy's not biting. Oh, oh boy, is that 
beautiful fight. Is that gorgeous fighting? That jab and the movement of Joppy? Joppy displaying a textbook jab. Back up, back up, back up, back up, along with that up, uppercut earlier in the fight. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Let's go. Watch the slapping, says Max Parker to uh, William Joppy. It's a backhanded motion hitting the opponent with the back of the glove, and it's illegal. As well as dirty. You know how perfected that was Muhammad Ali? Yeah. <laughs> we call him snake licking it. And that snake licking was illegal, but it made it Ali's career. Green uh, told us yesterday that that slapping motion was blinding him. And Blame was getting hit on the right hand by him, getting blinded by that flicking. And then all of a sudden the right hand came by and popped him. I'll tell you what, that good jab to Joppy Strong isn't helping him at all either. Yeah, he doesn't have to resort to those dirty tactics, Joppy. The, the regular jab is effective enough. Last warning. I'm going to take it. Last warning. Last warning. Well, well he gave him a nice little forearm yeah. elbow right in the face. Get it back. Get it back. And you can see how frustrated Green's back getting. Back it up. Back it up. Joppy's stepping around and moving. Good Some break. boxers, the macho people, like to say this is running. This is not running. This is smart boxing. Kind of this a half-hearted uh, show of sportsmanship there, touched by Green. Green uh, looks desperate right now. Well, the desperation of a man who wants to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe against a guy who does not have to to win the championship. There's the 10-second warning. Nice uppercut by Green. Well, see, he's sloppy now. He's just winging big shots. He's not getting the job done. Missing wildly. Here's the table, guys. Okay? Give us a good table now. Take the table. Take the table. Mira, queremos esta pelea ahora. Vamos a presionar. Cuídate con el Ope. Ese Ope. Oye, el Ope es un guante así que se va a quedar entre guantes. Quiero ya vea dos veces. Ya vea. Pónmelo en el guante. Están diciendo que no hay que esperar el jab para ir a la lucha y no dejar que este hombre boxe para ir a la lucha. Jab, 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 the kind that you see Ricardo Lopez do, the kind you used to see Muhammad Ali do. Jab, movement, jab, movement, the beauty of boxing. That's like hitting a speed bag. He just popped it twice and then popped it when, he, when his head came back. Just beautiful, beautiful boxing. Halfway through, it looks like Joppy is well on his way toward reclaiming the crown. You know, Green talked about the fact in the first fight he hurt his hand as well, so today both right hands look to be fine. I wonder what... We'll find out after this one's over. Break, back it up, back it up, back it up. Green said he had a cramp in his right arm that went all the way down into the hand and yeah, it, didn't, it didn't seem to bother him. And he won the fight. That's what Green needs to do. He needs to do just what he did, work his way, throw the body shots and come up. But he can't get back outside. He can't allow this. The corner just said to him, stop boxing, go at him and fight him. He can't trade jabs with Joppy. It's not going to happen. Green learning that the hard way. As his face continues to get knocked around by that effective Joppy jab. And he better pay attention and not talk to the ref. Something happened there that, that uh, short circuited him for a moment. I didn't see anything. No, you know what happened? Was, Frustration is building up for Green. He's just trying to suck him in and kind of come on, come on, come on, lay on the ropes and act like maybe he's hurt or whatnot. But he was waving him in with his hands. Joppy's not buying it. Very disciplined uh, William Joppy showing tremendous up, patience up, and skill. He's waiting for his opportunity. Well, Green uh, basically swings wildly. Terrific defense, uh, too, by Joppy. Just warding off. Oh, 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 hitting it over. Hitting it over. Sneaky hit and hold on, Scott. Gotta watch your head. Gotta watch your head. It's over. You hear me? Max Parker bringing it to uh, Green's attention. Max Parker being very patient. All of his... Uh, all of his uh, ad admonitions have been to Green, except for the, the jab, uh, uh, talking to Joppy. 
What's good is the green didn't understand him, so he doesn't feel bad. Joppy Southpaw now using a flailing right hand, a little right hook here. Joppy fighting as a Southpaw right now. Well, as if he's not confusing his opponent Bring him back. I don't see that at all. I don't see the need for that. I don't see the need for it either, but he seems to be having fun. And every once in a while, you do what gets your mind right. Joppy in total command. Maybe he's bored. So he switched to the other side to try to uh, reinvigorate. Well, he certainly knows how to land that, that jab. Green's got to pick it up. Green's got to pick it up. He's Green has done almost nothing this round, Freddie. You're absolutely right. Well, he may be out of Listen gas to uh, from the punishment that has been dished out by Chubby. And the frustration. I think even more than that, missing those big shots. You know, fair reactions and equal opposite. Man, at the belt, he goes tumbling to the canvas. No knockdown. It was a trip. Yep. It was a nasty little trip. Sit up with it, well, for those of you with internet access, be sure to visit ShowtimeOnline.com. When you click on the championship boxing link, you'll find statistics and information about tonight's card, plus interactive games and previews and reviews of all Showtime championship boxing events. That's all on ShowtimeOnline.com. Well, we're at the halfway point. I can see nothing but a 69-65 uh, one way going for a jumpy right now. I have it 69-64, Ferdy. All right, here, here comes the slip. You see the, the way the arm... Like, it's a trip. The legs got... Yeah, yeah you, legs. you can see that. There was like a, a fulcrum. They just... Well, or Bobby, I didn't hear yours. What you said? 69-64. Yeah. Well, I gave an even round. I sort of... Uh, I didn't have an even round. And that, I got it. That discombobulated. Six to one. How, how ironic. It was Green trying to trip up Joppy early in the fight, and it's Green who winds up on the floor. That was Joppy. There you go. Well, round eight. What I was talking about before, for reaction is equal and opposite reaction. You throw big shots and you don't hit body, it takes the same amount of energy to stop those punches. And that's how fighters that throw the big punches get exhausted so quickly when they miss. Well, this guy better make some kind of a showing here. That's also the result of a nifty defense by William Joppy. Green does show some flashes of power and even accuracy at times, but it just has not been often enough. Well, as I talked to Joppy in the dressing room, he said he was gonna step to him and stop it. Gonna stop that power. Stop those big, wide, wide winging shots, as opposed to trying to pull away and get hit on the tail end of those looping blows, and he's doing it beautifully. Yeah, he is. His corner continues to tell him to keep on him, jab, work him, double, jab. I think frustration has worked uh, its toll on Green. He doesn't know he's tentative with it. That was a slip by uh, Joppy, kind of uh, an awkward uh, situation. Foot one right outside the ring. Yeah, that could have been very, very uh, dangerous. Could have twisted his ankle. What I'd like to see Joppy do here is behind that jab, throw a couple of right hands, then dip inside and rip a left uppercut up. That's something that would work perfectly here. And for Green on the other side, what he has to do is stop trying to out jab Joppy, because he can't do it. That's just not his forte. And the elusive Joppy just ducking underneath that straight right hand attempt by Green. Green has to stuff the jab and like that. Hook to the body and work up top. Having a hard enough time fighting without the referee stopping him every two minutes. Now the crowd that's oh, oh, nice right, right hand. hand. Punch trying out, to urge their man on. With a minute remaining in round eight. Beautiful combination to the head by uh, Joppy. And there's that inside uppercut by Joppy again. You see Green's head snap back. There's a backhand attempt by uh, Green. You see, yeah, even, even on the very inside, if there's not a little bit of extra space, Green is not comfortable because his punches all come from wide angles. Oh, that was a nice wide left. Combination to the belly and the side by William Joppy. And those have to take their toll. You're getting the feeling that if, if Joppy really put on the gas here, he could stop Green. I mean, Green is, is always dangerous, but he's getting hit such clean shots by Joppy. Well, Joppy let Green off the hook in round four, the first fight after he had him in trouble in round three. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. right uppercut by Joppy. Picture perfect. The Carmen Basilio Award for 1998 to him. Oh. 
right. from from you. You see, let's turn it right up from you. Earlier tonight here at the Ice Palace, a hot prospect, a rising star, Robert Allen, a southpaw from Atlanta who hopes to fight the winner of this fight. Defended his WBA North American middleweight title against number six, Lloyd Bryan of uh, Jamaica. Allen's nickname is Armed and Dangerous, and that that's what he was to uh, to Lloyd Bryan on the green trunks. Allen put Bryan on the canvas three times en route to uh, a third round TKO at 257 of the round. Not much of a contest as Allen just jumped on Bryan from the start. Robert Allen, good looking young middleweight there in the blue trunks. Now 22 and two with 17 KOs, retains his title. And as I said, could possibly be in line to meet the winner of Green Choppy 2. Well, heavily muscled, left-hander from around Boston, likes to fight. You got to think of Hagler, and the whole world can moan and say, oh boy, not another left-hander from Boston. Come on, take it to the All right, here we go, round number nine. Joppy once again standing between rounds. You know, once again, we're getting to that point of no return, and right now, Joppy well in command. I'm not a judge, but I'm just giving you my best guess, fellas. But you play one on TV. There you go. Green has to take a shot right now. He has to gamble a little bit, throw caution to the wind, oh, and make a move. It's his title, and it's going bye-bye if he doesn't force the action. Go straight to him and try to take him out. Because if not, Joppy's going to win this in a cakewalk. He's got to close the gap in between him. He can't stay at the end of that jab. And Green has to shorten up on his big winging shots inside just a little bit. Green trying to uh, press the attack and get off first. Doesn't seem to have any effect whatsoever on Joppy. Green just doesn't have much steam left, and it's understandable after what we have watched. Break, back it up. Break, break, back it up. Get your head out of the game. Come on, Drew. Get your head out of the game. Green's corner telling him right hand, left hook, pressure, work the body. Lenny Blackmore in the uh, corner of Green. Nice right hand to the body by Green, but the one and two at a time. He's throwing them too wide and is getting caught up. On the inside, you see there, Joppy very carefully places his feet in the right position, gets the leverage, and drives his punches on target. That very wild good. swing and a miss by Green took him to the canvas. It's there all day long. Green is not adjusting at all. Another one. Let him go. Let him go, Caesar. Let him go, Caesar. Let him go, Caesar. Back, back it up. Back it up. Back it up. I've heard of him call by the first and last name, but not by their middle name. <laughs> Once again, the combination punching is very effective for Joppy. That's one of his fortes. Green had one or two big shots at a time. Not going to get it done. But if we remember this fight for any one punch by Joppy, I think it'll be the right uppercut. Oh, yeah. It has been beautiful. Just and the jab. Break, and the jab. Up, you know, the jab was just beautiful through the whole beginning of this. Last time, last one. Close it up, close it up. And we punch out. Max, Park, Max Parker just break, said break it up, it that's the last up, warning. Uh, again, I wonder how many last warnings he's got in his armamentarium. Tape beginning to come off of Green's glove. That's going to occasion a little halt. Punch out, Henry. That's the ten. That's the five. That's what Green needs to do. Yeah. He needs to rough it out. He needs a rough house in there. That's what he needs to do. Too little, too late, though. This guy just made a classical error. He says, you only got two more rounds, but you really got three. And he said, do it for your mother, do it for your country, do it for the title. And he's doing everything he can, but he's just told a bad piece of information in this fight. There's only two rounds left. Bernie, do you think that's a serious cut on the left side? The cut that has developed is very, very minor. I don't think he has anything to worry about that one here. This far behind, the cut's the very least to hit. 
jab, right hand, left leg, kill the He is so far behind, he needs a knockout. He's got a referee warning him, one more warning, and he's going to take a point away. Mr. Green is in very, very serious jeopardy of losing his title today, tonight. He actually smiled at Lennox Blackmore, his uh, his trainer. I'm not sure what uh, that was all about. They speak half Spanish, half English there in the corner. And now he comes back with the, uh, the left hook that does Green. That's what Green needs to do. How he ended the last round. How he ended the ninth round was how he needs to finish this fight out. If he could put inside him, just not caring. If he could put that together for three minutes, then he, you'd, you'd have a chance of stopping Joppy. But you can't just do that sporadically and quit. Green just wants to uh, bring this down to a street fight. And wall and Harry brawl Harry any way he Harry can, Harry but Harry so Harry difficult Harry to close the gap Harry with Harry William Joppy. Break, break, break it up. I got to back it up. Joppy boxing tremendously all throughout this fight. Break, break, also go. showing uh, power up. with his uh, right hand, right uppercuts. He is demonstrating forcefully what speed can do for you. Speed kills, boy. It does in the ring. When you're that fast, you hit, you move, the other guy's gone. Terrific combination of speed and power here by uh, Joppy. Joppy's working that right hand inside, uppercuts, hooks around the body, top of the head, side of the head, jaw up underneath. He's just doing whatever he wants, and, and Brick, 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 Green has not adjusted at any point, Steve. And nor have they told him in the corner what to do about the uppercut. Oh, point. Finally, finally, finally. Well, uh, the final nail. As if he needs it. Joppy should have been uh, magnanimous. Nah, never mind. Put that on my account. I'm way ahead. Let's go, let's go. Now what Green needs, obviously, is a punch out of nowhere. Every punch out. Watch it, watch it. Quick, back it up. Get off. To so knock Joppy down or out. He said something. Did you pick up what he said there? Is it, uh, punch out, punch can you say it on television? No. no. Every punch out. Every punch out. Punch out. You're not exactly on friendly terms, Steve. Now, the, the trash talking just uh, continues here. It's been that way throughout before the fight. I think every time Green starts to say something, he gets an uppercut in the mouth. And that sentence is stopped right at the conjunction. Green's going to be heard from again because he's tough, because he's exciting, because he likes to fight. He's going to be heard from again, but right now he's being taken to school. I would say he's being mastered. Mastered is the word by Joppy. A commanding performance here by William Joppy. Right from the start. Final break, seconds break, of break, round break, 10. Break, 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 break. There have not been any knockdowns, believe it or not, in this fight. But a lot of slipdowns. Yeah. A lot of slipdowns. That's all he needs. He's just a little bit more encouraged. He's doing the right thing. Today he's doing the right thing. That's what I'm talking about. Let me hear that a little bit. Nobody though. A decision is okay. A decision is okay. You're looking good here, you're about to do something more. That's what you want. Same thing, Jim. Same thing, Jim. Come on. Double, Same double, thing. Double. Everything is double. Double, he's holding that hook. You can get that hook loose off that uppercut, it's over. You're looking good, Jim. You're looking good. You're looking good. Some strong left hook. Right double cut. You right double cut. You got to pull the trigger. Come on. You got to pull it. Come on. You got two more rounds up to go. Let's go. Yeah, they can't get it. You won this fight. You got to use it. Clean instead. You got to use the uppercut. Come on. Second and third. No. Come on, ref. Ref, you're doing a bad job, ref. Round 11. Round 11. Well, the championship rounds. Again, Joppy standing between rounds. One point was deducted from uh, the back up. Back up. Back up. champion, Julio Cesar Green, in round 10 for repeated uh, intentional headbutts. Yeah, he was rubbing his head on the side, trying to jam with a little butt here. Do whatever he can. And in, in Joppy's corner, they told him, rip the left hook behind that uppercut. You snap his head up, take it off with the hook. Excellent advice. Channing Green, the try to our left, the jumpy. Right now, I don't think it matters what the crowd said. Yeah, not at all. Well, they're into it. It's good to see. They're having a good time. 
Every punch out. Every punch out. Don't twist your arm. Is Max Parker to Julio Cesar turn Green? Turn Keep it, it clean. So don't twist his arm. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's turning it over. He's turning Joppy's arm over, and that's not good. That's not the uh, right. Nice jab by Julio Cesar Green. We haven't seen much of that tonight. But still, that's just not his game. He cannot out jab Joppy from the outside and win this fight. And now we're in the 11th round. It's not going to start it. Southpaw just to confuse Green and nothing else. They stepped on each other's feet. No, no, what you get when you turn. Why would he do that? Why would he need to? He's just killing them close the right him way. Up, close him up. Get it back, get it back, get him back. I think Green keeps watching for a sneak attack of some kind, something new. And Joppy's not doing anything, taking all the rest he wants, doing whatever he wants. No, close him up. He just, just doesn't look that effective. Oh, he doesn't look that effective. I mean, he, you know, he had this great left jab. Well, he doesn't look good with the right jab. He's pawing it. He's not having any effectiveness out of it. Go back. That's it. Get back, get back. Nice every uppercut by Green, but nothing every serious on his side. Jaffe just too fast for Green. Well, Green does need a miracle now. It's absolutely a miracle time. Or else he can kiss his crown goodbye. I'll be real surprised to see the scores because I have this extremely one-sided. I really want to see how the judges view this fight. Yeah, I, I, I'm afraid I'm with you. This will be a first with one round to go. With one round to go in a totally one-sided fight. This guy thinks he won. Julio <laughs> uh, Cesar Green is in the twilight zone. <laughs> yeah. He is so out of it if he thinks he's got this fight. Uh, he's got the running bull. Both thought he'd won the Olympics when he just lost. What happened was the, the thumb tab came off. Get the tape ready. The thumbs connected to the glove. The, st the push, stitch push, that keeps push, it in push, place push, push, push. was in ripped there. off. Yeah, yeah he, he tried yeah, to cut it off with a scissor, and it didn't work, so they got to get new gloves. That's all. That would allow a the thumb gloves. to be free and the possibility of being thumbed in the eye, which we're trying to avoid by attaching the thumb. Guy, it took us enough years to get that passed. Hey, Ray, get the towel out. Come here for two times. Kind of yeah, uh, the, prolonging the inevitable for Julio Cesar Green here. Williams, I was just about to say before this delay, Joppy, so well conditioned, such great shape. He looks like he's ready for the start of the fight here. Yeah, this round two. and uh, Green in in some bizarre twist, put his hands up like in victory. Don't they stop the fight in the corner? Yeah, right. I mean, like yes, right. He's taken. The it was almost as if we remember the Tyson Holyfield uh, oh. fiasco in in the second fight when they went into the corner. Tyson's people thought they won. 
Yeah, right. I'll tell you what, if nothing else, what this does is give Green a little extra juice for that all out, yeah. go for broke attack. Sorry, time, he please. said, you're done, you're done. They thought it was you won. Yeah. I clearly don't think it'll make a difference, but it should be interesting. All right, well, well, uh, delay here. That now, all, all this time that, it, that they've had to fix it, he just now noticed the green as peeling uh, tape off of his, so he's got to start. All of this for what? Three minutes to go. Jockey's going to box smart. He knows he's three minutes away from his title. Green knows he has nothing to lose and go for broke. So the last round should at the very least be interesting. Well, it's taken over two minutes uh, for the glove. Two, three minutes uh, delay here with the... Uh, the change of gloves. All right, let's see. Green, of course, needs a miracle here in round 12, the final round, as William Joppe tries to recapture the WBA middleweight title, and he is in the driver's seat. He was getting ready to lace him again. Well, yep, he had it right there. Now, if you're William Joppe, you stay away, right? Yeah, Joppe kind of did a stupid thing. He just stayed there, like saying, uh huh, you're going to race me? All right. Well, he better be careful. Yeah, well. Break, break it up. Break, no, no, no. Break, break it up. He's allowed to hit with that free hand on the inside. Referee's wrong there. I don't know. I'm, I, I don't see how he has any, anything he can do but land a miracle right hand. Green has to press the attack. He, he's almost fighting as if he thinks he's ahead. Like the punch that Mike Weaver landed on John Tate in the last round with 30 seconds to go. Absolutely. You just never know till that bell rings. Or who back, says our Chavez, Meldrick Taylor? It has happened. Let's not talk about that. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen tonight. Well, Joppy wisely keeping his distance, uh, trying to uh, stay on the outside. No need to uh, mess around here. He's so far ahead. And meanwhile, why isn't Green coming forward? Yeah, he just can't. He's frustrated. He's tied up. He doesn't know how to get in. He's taking that extra second to think of where to set and how to land or launch, and it's just not working. William Joppy a minute and a half away from reclaiming the title. Well, the yell from the corner, you first, has never been more apropos than right now. You first, Julio, get it started. Come on, don't wait for this guy. Break, 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 break. Bobby, I'd like to see the scores. I can't, I can't believe I've got this thing so far ahead, but I do. Now, Green might actually be winning the last round because Joppy's not really doing anything. Green's doing all the work, but, but irrelevant. it's completely irrelevant. I mean, Green has nothing to lose here but to just go forward and just throw everything at the William Joppy. He's trying to avoid the cliches here, but... He has nothing to lose but his consciousness. He can get knocked out when he can count the ten little birdies. Yeah, but there's a much to reward value there. A title for a little... Wait, what, why is he in boxing for you? No, I don't believe he's in boxing for that reason. I think he just likes to box. <laughs> okay. Well, here we go. Final seconds, round 12. Pull them up. Pull them up. And he all out, William Joppy in this one, he is well on his way to getting back on the pedestal. The WBA middleweight championship will once again belong to Joppy. And is Green kidding? Is he kidding? Is there something wrong with him? Uh, he's keeping the one uh, an old foxy man named Chris Dendy used to say to us. Always look like a winner, no matter how much you're losing. Look like a winner, but you never know what the judges are going to do. Yeah, I agree. But Ferdy, uh, he fought that 12th round as if he thought he was ahead on yeah. points. No, he not was, tonight. No, he was still coming. He was still coming. Well, then, then why did he jump on the turnbuckle there and wave that, his hands? That's a psychological uh, ploy that all fighters like to try and use. I don't think it's Does he actually really think matters. he's going to sway the judges? I have a 118, 109. What have I got? 118, 109. That's what I got. It's you know, not even close. I, I don't know if we could have possibly been watching that much of a runaway, but it's uh, this round was by round. He a, got beat. A layup for William Joppe. I mean, some people might even have this one a shutout for William Joppe.
Yeah. A no hitter. Well, I gave the benefit of the doubt to Green in two rounds, the last round and the second round, and that's all she wrote. Yep. A 10-7 round, excuse me, a 10-8 round in round 10 because of the point deduction. There, at no point in time is there a there's a reason to give anything else to him. He, he just didn't earn it. Not, not tonight. Well, we'll soon see. We have been uh, surprised by a lot of scores. I don't think we'll be tonight. Yeah, the, well, the amazing thing is, why is this taking so long? Well, it takes a long time to add up big <laughs> figures yeah, like this. Okay. You know, this, this is boxing. This You're is being not, so uh, kind. Not one, of the judges, so one of the judges put a comma in the, yes. yeah. in the score. Remember, we're primitive society. We use our fingers and toes for counting. Well, this is uh, a no-brainer. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, I mean, just uh, this man totally outclassed, outskilled. And a lot of the Latin American fighters, you know, a lot of the Latin American fighters think that a fighter who boxes and, and even though he wins and runs, didn't really win because he ran. And that's a very, you know, uneasy thing to work with to people's attitudes. Well, but there have been some very fine, fine Latin American boxers that like Luis and Manuel Rodriguez who didn't have a punch, they just danced all over us. Little show of sportsmanship there by uh, by the two after much trash talking uh, heading into this fight. How about that, huh? Joppy uh, in advance. He must have known something. Must have known something with those T-shirts. He expected it. Two-time world champion. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. and hear the inevitable. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Medardo Villalobos scores about 117 to 113. Judge Julio Roldan scores at 117 to 112. And Judge at ringside, Paul Herman sees about 117 to 110. All three in favor of the winner. Now the two-time WBA middleweight champion, William Juppie. Scores. Well, 117, 110, that's not bad. That's a one round difference from no, 118, 109. Yeah. But 117, 113, including the point taken off, that's eight rounds to four, and actually eight rounds of five with the point taken off. That's a little too close. 117, 112, they probably threw in a couple of draws on close Man, rounds. For good measure. I don't get that as well. So William Joppy recaptures his WBA middleweight championship, and let's uh, get it right up to Jim Gray in the ring. William, 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 we're on, we're on, William, hey, William, congratulations to you, total domination here tonight, did you feel, do you feel now vindicated for what happened in August, oh yeah, I feel great, you know, uh, I feel they shouldn't have took it from me back in August, which I took it on 11 day notice. But you know, hey, that's the way the boxing game go. I came back strong here, good fight. I take my hat off to him. But hey, you know, the belt is back where it belongs. Right. How was your hand tonight? No problem? It felt great. It felt great. You know what I mean? It didn't make no difference. I, both my hands could have been broke. I would have pulled it out, man. Uh, let's talk about this fight. Why were you able to totally control him tonight? Was it simply the case of the hand back in August and that being the difference now? I think I totally controlled him back in August. But hey, the judges didn't think so. So, um, and I mean, that's the way the game go. You know what I'm saying? I, I trained little, I trained longer this time. I had seven, six weeks to train. Last time, you know, I was just in and out of the gym. I took it on 11 day notice. So I was focused physically and I was focused mentally. So, you know, that, that why I, that's why I came out better. It has been your desire until you were derailed by Green to unify this title. What will you do now? Will it be Keith Holmes, Bernard Hopkins? What are your plans? Where whichever, are you going? Whichever way the ball bounce. You know what I'm saying? Keith Holmes, Bernard Hopkins, whoever, Darren Over, he's number one. It don't make no difference. I'm no just, I, you know, I'm in the gym. I stay in shape at all times. So whichever way the ball bounce, we're ready to fight. But, William, all the three of you guys say that all the time. When is the business going to get done? It seems like you guys are just demanding outrageous dollars that aren't there. When, when will you guys come together and actually fight? I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it for the fame. I like the game. You know what I'm saying? You never have see me hollering about money or nothing like that. I mean, I, I love the game. I love the sport. I like to fight. You know what I'm saying? You, I don't keep homes, but not Hopkins, any of them. Uh, uh, Otis Grant, you know what I'm saying? Whichever, whoever stepped to the plate. You know what I'm saying? I don't never... Uh, you never see me talk about money. You know what I mean? I love this sport. I, I'm in this game for the sport, the fame. Do you feel as though to... Holmes will be the next guy and, and you've sparred against him and dominated him? Do you, do you think that'll keep him away from you or do you feel Holmes will be next? I don't care, man. It don't make no difference. Which, just like I said, whichever way the ball bounce, I'm ready. But now Hopkins, whoever have a title, I'm ready. Darn over to number one, it don't make no difference. And I would do it again just like I took that fight on 11-day notice. I'd do it again because, you know, 
I like to take boxing back to the old days. Sugar Ray Robinson, uh, Joe Lewis. When they fought any time, you call them up the night before the fight, they fight. That's how I am. That's when we bring boxing back to the old school. As long as everything stay fair. Y'all seen what happened to me back in that cold day in August, the 23rd. But look. I'm here to bring back some boxing back to the old Lock school, door. you know. All right, well, it's a, war it's a warm day now here in Tampa. Congratulations to you, and we look forward to your next fight. Yeah, yeah. my next one? I'm not sure, you know. It's up no, that's it. We look forward to it. Let's go back to Steve Albert. All right, man. All right, Jim, a cold day in August. This was a, a sunny day in Tampa and a very uh, sunny day indeed for uh, William Joppy, who's back uh, on the throne. He improves his record to 20 of 5 and 1, and uh, there really was no doubt about it tonight. It's interesting that he went back to the 30s. That's exactly what I was saying. I was saying Sugar Ray Robinson. I was, I was seeing Carmen Basilio. I'm seeing all these old guys that I used to watch and idolize in the form of this man. He likes to fight. He likes that beauty of boxing. Boxing is a beautiful sport when done appropriately. And uh, he did it the right way. He boxed when he had to, he fought when he had to, had a beautiful jab, a beautiful uppercut, and I commend him on a great victory. Well, he really uh, staged a clinic here tonight against Julio Cesar Green. Let's take a look at the uh, champions of the 160 pound division. Joppy again back on tap uh, in the WBA. You see Keith Holmes, his uh, arch rival from Maryland, WBC, Lonnie Bradley uh, coming off the uh, eye injury WBO and tonight uh, Bernard Hopkins on another uh, network uh, defending his title against Simon Brown. So William Joppy uh, firmly puts himself right back on the pedestal. You know, he's right back there and right now the consensus on the street in the boxing community is that Bernard Hopkins may in fact be the number one man to beat at middleweight but William Joppy, clearly ready to step up to the plate, has the tools to make a hell of a fight out of it. And this is a division that I think is in desperate need of unification to stir up interest. It needs a leader. It really does. Yes, and it does. Let's hope that that happens. Well, lots more championship boxing action set to come your way in the next couple of months here on Showtime and SET Pay-Per-View. In just a couple of weeks, we travel to the longest reigning champion, Ricardo Lopez, the WBC 105-pound champ against the WBA 105-pound champion, Rosendo Alvarez, in a unification bout in the sport's lightest division. And also, WBC women's lightweight champion, Christy Martin, the coal miner's daughter, will face Daniela Summers. So catch this exciting championship triple header live on SET Pay-Per-View from the Plaza de Toros, a bull ring in Mexico City, Saturday, March 7th at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific time.